Welcome back to Boiler House Garage and to part 11 of our video series testing super unleaded petrol for its octane rating. In today's video we're continuing with our tests of the SO Synergy Supreme 99 as in the last video we, uh, I got a result that was surprising to me anyway. Uh, as I previously theorised that the low octane results we were getting from the uh, local area or local county uh, tests of the samples I've taken uh, were due to the fact that uh, SO have perhaps miscalculated or misjudged the expectation of ethanol in their uh, petrol nationwide so that the octane rating was lacking. However, in the last video, uh, if you haven't seen that yet, please check that out as it's worth worth seeing before you get to this one basically as it's uh, the county in between where I am to the one that we'll be testing shortly. Um, the fuel did uh, turn out to be ethanol free like it is in uh, this area uh, however rather than showing 93 ron like the fuel in this area did uh, it was reading 102 on the octane reader which uh, matches uh, what we get from um, Shell V Power and Tesco Momentum. It is, it, I do have to clarify that because it is a portable octane tester it's just supposed to give you an idea if the fuel that you're being sold is uh, substandard, it's not uh, a precise and accurate uh, measurement and uh, can actually be uh, inaccurate up to 3 ron according to the instructions. However, I've actually found it to be slightly more accurate than that when I've been testing the uh, super unleaded that are uh, like 97 ron for example, it's only uh, sort of 1 ron out. So if you saw the first Boiler House Garage on the road video, you probably remember that the furthest uh, sample of SO Synergy Supreme that I've picked up is from uh, Peterborough in Cambridgeshire from a garage called SO Westside. That's what it's called. Respect. Uh, so without further ado, uh, let's get on with uh, testing that one. Check this out. So for the benefits of my own editing, this is the SO Synergy Supreme sample from Peterborough. Uh, as with all previous tests, I do have to repeat this quite a lot, but some people this might be the first time they're watching the videos. Uh, I'm adding 300 millilitres of water to 700 millilitres of the test petrol. Ethanol being uh, hydrophilic uh, will be attracted to the water passing through it and that will actually extract the, pe uh, the ethanol from the petrol to settle at the bottom. Now if it's ethanol free, because it's 300 millilitres of water, the water level should settle at 300 millilitres on this test tube. If there is ethanol present, of course, it will raise, and by how much we can determine what percentage of ethanol is in there. So far it's looking the same as the last video, but we'll just give it five minutes for the uh, foaming and the wobbly line to settle, and I'll be back with you then. So now everything is settled, I'm not sure if it comes across in the camera okay, but the water line is still at 300 millilitres, so we can conclude that the uh, Peterborough SO Synergy Supreme uh, uh, super unleaded sample is ethanol free. Uh, and now we can conduct the octane test. So I'm going to assume then that because this one is ethanol free, it's further north and to the east of the previous sample, that this too should hopefully be the uh, correct octane showing like close to 102. Oh, 101, close enough. Oh, fantastic news. So, that's a bit of a turn up for the books, really, because my theory was that the uh, this was actually going to be a, a problem of a, uh, of all of the ethanol free versions of SO Synergy Supreme uh, would be too low in octane, but yeah, as it turns out, that isn't the case. And like I mentioned in the last video, it might be down to distribution or it could be something that they actually discovered was wrong and got on top of, with obviously not, not advertising the fact. I'm actually pretty curious now. I do want to go to my local SO and pick up a sample there and uh, test to see what that is. So I might do that if I've got time. 
But for now, if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel as I've got a couple more fuel samples uh, to test. I've got the Shell V power, which I also picked up from Cambridgeshire. Uh, and I also have uh, an octane test, our first octane test to do on golf endurance. Uh, so stick around for that. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching.